Hello my dear civil and mechanical engineers, this is Chandrasekhar welcoming you all to this wonderful, very very interesting Ground Zero series. In this series, we bring the most important concept in the very very simple manner through animation. So, it helps you to understand the concept in the best possible manner. So, in today's discussion, I will be going to talk about in today's discussion, I will be talking about one of the important properties of the fluid that is fluid surface tension. So, do you ever wonder how a water stride can easily walk on water? How the steel needle or a paper clip or the coin can float on water even though they are having higher density? So, we will discuss all these things in detail, but before I start, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Chandrasekhar. I am mechanical engineering graduate from IIT Delhi, having more than 10 years of teaching experience in the field of GATE, IES and PSUs. You can connect with me through the mail ID which is there mentioned on the top of the screen and you can also join me on the telegram group that is mechanical by Chandrasekhar and the link is also there on the bottom of the screen. So, let us start with the beginning. The surface tension, the word surface tension is made up of two words that is surface plus tension. It means the liquid surface is in tension. So, it is the property which is shared by two fluids. The surface tension is the property of the liquid surface. One of the fluid is a liquid, the another fluid can be a liquid or a gas. So, let us discuss about two immiscible fluids. If we see here, the, the lower fluid is having higher density, the upper fluid is having lower density. So, if we take a molecule A inside the lower liquid, which is surrounded by similar molecules from all the sides. So, each surrounding molecule is pulling this molecule A with the strong cohesive force and because the fluids are in static condition, so the net force acting on molecule A will be zero. But the same story will not be true for the molecule B which is lying on the interface of two fluids. The lower fluid is a liquid, the upper fluid can be a liquid or even a gas having lower de lesser density. So, the molecule B is surrounded by similar molecules only from the bottom. The upper fluid is having less cohesive force, the bottom fluid is having more cohesive force. So, on the in, uh, interface molecules, the net force is always acting in the downward direction. So, because the fluid is in a static condition, so there should not be any downward motion. So, to overcome this downward tendency, the interface molecules, molecule B, all the interface molecules are having the tendency to move in downward direction. So, to overcome this downward tendency, they develop the strong cohesive force with one another and in this phenomena, the whole liquid surface appears like a thin elastic membrane in tension which can resist small forces. So, let us discuss about the force developed due to surface tension. Surface tension is the property and the force developed due to surface tension is the surface tension force. The surface tension force is normal and tensile which acts normal to the line of common interface and it always acts in the plane of the liquid surface. So, the surface tension is directly proportional to length of the common interface. It is directly proportional to length of the common interface. So, if we convert it into equations, so surface tension force is equal to some constant of proportionality that is sigma which is the property of the fluid called surface tension multiplied by L which is the length of the common interface. So, if we develop the expression for sigma, 
सिग्मा इज इक्वल टू फोर्स पर यूनिट लेंथ ऑफ द कॉमन इंटरफेस सो इट्स यूनिट विल बी न्यूटन पर मीटर एंड इफ वी मल्टीप्लाई एंड मल्टीप्लाई द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर विद मीटर देन द न्यूमरेटर विल बिकम जूल द डिनोमिनेटर विल बिकम मीटर स्क्वायर सो इट कैन ऑल्सो बी डिफाइंड एज द सर्फेस एनर्जी पर यूनिट सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ द लिक्विड दैट इज जूल पर मीटर स्क्वायर सो द क्वेश्चन स्टिल रिमेन्स द सेम how a paper clip or a steel needle even though it is having more density it floats over the water surface so let us discuss about this if we talk about a steel needle if you put a steel needle gently on the water surface due to the weight of the needle there is a slight depression in the surface of water and the weight is acting in the downward direction and because of the surface tension there is a force which is developed that is normal and tensile let us have a look on the free body diagram so the cross section is circular for a steel needle so there are two interfaces on one interface l is the length of the common interface so the surface tension force which is normal and tensile which is equal to sigma into the length of the interface and similarly on the other side there is another interface so this will be also equal to sigma into l if we take this angle as theta so the horizontal component of the surface tension force will get cancel out both sigma into l sin theta will get cancel out but the vertical component will be acting in upward direction that is sigma into 2l total length of the common interface into cos theta this vertical component will balance the weight of the wire or weight of the steel needle that is how it can float over the water surface similarly let us take another example if we see a circular disk if we put a circular disk gently on the liquid surface there is a slight depression so the common length of the interface is 2 pi r for in case of a disk so the surface tension force which will be normal and tensile to the common interface and it will be acting in the plane of the liquid surface this will be the plane of the liquid surface so the surface tension force will be acting fs will be acting in the plane of the liquid surface that is sigma that is the property into 2 pi r again cos component will balance the weight of the disk so the vertical component will be equal to sigma into 2 pi r into cos theta which will balance the weight of the disk that is how small objects can be easily hold by the liquid interface because of the surface tension the vertical component of surface tension force always balances the downward force that is the weight or the gravity force exerted by the body which is in contact with the liquid interface all right so let us continue our discussion for having the applications of surface tension as i said the surface tension is the strong cohesive force which is developed between the interface molecules of a liquid so due to a strong cohesive force developed between the surface molecules the shape of the liquid drop is spherical so we will find out the pressure inside a liquid drop whose shape is spherical because of the surface tension the surface tension minimizes the surface area of the liquid drop and the sphere is having the minimum area so if we divide the liquid drop into two halves hemispheres two hemispheres so if we see each hemisphere each hemispherical drop is acted upon by two forces one is the pressure force which is normal and compressive delta p into pi by 4 d square or pi r square is the pressure force on both the hemisphere pressure force is normal and compressive so the pressure force will try to burst this drop to divide these two halves into two parts 
एट द सेम टाइम द सर्फेस टेंशन फोर्स विच इज नॉर्मल एंड टेंसाइल इट इज एक्टिंग इन द प्लेन ऑफ द लिक्विड सर्फेस सो ऑन बोथ द हेमी स्पेयर द सर्फेस टेंशन फोर्स विल बी एक्टिंग विल बी ट्राइंग टू मूव दीज टू हेमी स्पेयर टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर सो द प्रेशर फोर्स इज द बर्स्टिंग फोर्स डेल्टा पी इन टू पाई आर स्क्वायर वेर एज द सर्फेस टेंशन फोर्स विच इज एक्टिंग ऑन द कॉमन इंटरफेस दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आर लेंथ ऑफ द कॉमन इंटरफेस इन टू सिग्मा सो फॉर इक्लिब्रियम ऑफ दिस ड्रॉप फॉर इक्लिब्रियम बोथ द फोर्सेज मस्ट बी इक्वल द प्रेशर फोर्स बस्टिंग फोर्स मस्ट बी इक्वल टू द सर्फेस टेंशन फोर्स सो डेल्टा पी इन टू पाई आर स्क्वायर शुड बी इक्वल टू सिग्मा इन टू टू पाई आर दिस इज हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द प्रेशर ड्रॉप इन ए प्रेशर डिफरेंस इन ए लिक्विड ड्रॉप दैट इज इक्वल टू टू सिग्मा बाई आर और वी कैन कॉल इट एज फोर सिग्मा बाई डी डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द ड्रॉप Similarly, if we find out the surface uh, pressure drop in a soap bubble, in case of a soap bubble, there are two interfaces. Soap bubble is having two interfaces, inner and outer. So the total surface tension force will be twice of the surface tension force in a liquid drop. So it will be twice of two sigma. टू पाई आर इंटू सिग्माइस एंड द प्रेशर फोर्स विच इज नॉर्मल एंड कंप्रेसिव विच इज द बस्टिंग फोर्स दिस इज प्रेशर फोर्स एंड दिस इज द सर्फेस टेंशन फोर्स सो बोथ मस्ट बी इक्वल एंड अपोजिट फॉर द इक्विब्रियम ऑफ ए सो बबल इफ वी इक्वेट दीज टू फोर्सेज देन वी कैन से डेल्टा पी इंटू पाई आर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ट्वाइस ऑफ सिग्मा इंटू टू पाई आर so from here we can find out the pressure difference delta p is equal to 4 sigma by r or we can write it as 8 sigma by d d is the diameter of the d will be the diameter of the soap bubble similarly for a liquid jet if we talk about the pressure difference across a liquid jet the shape of the liquid jet is the shape of the liquid jet is cylindrical the diameter is very very small compared to the length so if we cut the liquid drop into uh, liquid jet into two halves then it will be the semi cylinder so the diagram free body diagram will be something like this the pressure force that is delta p into the projected area d into l will be the projected area that is the normal and compressive pressure force in the horizontal plane which will be balanced by the total surface tension force so sigma into l will be acting on this interface that is fs1 and sigma into l will be acting on this surface that is sigma into l so the total surface tension force which is resisting force will be equal to sigma into 2l so if we equate the pressure force with the surface tension force so delta p into d into l will be equal to sigma into 2l so from here we can find out the pressure difference across a liquid jet that is 2 sigma by d or we can call it as sigma by r r is the radius of the jet d is the diameter of the jet so these are some of the applications of surface tension the force developed by the surface tension is the surface tension force and the pressure force will balance the surface tension force because both are both are in opposite direction one is normal and tensile that is the surface tension force the another is normal and compressive that is the pressure force let us have a look to the practical examples how the surface tension affects our day to day life so if we understand the surface tension the surface tension is nothing but the strong cohesive force which is developed between the surface molecules of the liquid and due to this strong cohesive force the molecules of the liquid are surface molecules of the liquid are joined together with the strong cohesive force they are bonded together 
so to reduce the surface tension we always use soap or detergent how the soap and detergent help in washing the clothes soap and detergents always reduce the surface tension of water and once the surface tension of water is reduced the water particles can easily pass through the pores of the cloth removing the dust similarly on the stagnant water when the when there is an increase in breeding of the mosquitoes so to control the breeding of the mosquitoes the sprays chemicals are used on the stagnant water because in stagnant water the surface is having the surface tension the liquid surface water surface is having a surface tension and due to which the eggs of the mosquitoes insects can be easily hold by the water surface so that is the reason the sprays and the chemicals are used to reduce the surface tension of water once the surface tension of water is reduced the eggs can go down in the bottom and they can burst and that is how the breeding of the mosquitoes and insects can be controlled by reducing the surface tension of stagnant water so that is all from my side for this session i hope you guys have liked it understood the concept of surface tension in the simple manner so i will bring more such sessions so stay tuned stay connected do like share and subscribe our byju's exam prep youtube channel for civil and mechanical engineers thank you very much